Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage. Home of DIY, mostly geared to automotive, but here at Mix, you never know what you're gonna get. So today, I'm gonna be trying to work on this, uh, it's a 2010, I believe. Yep, 2010 Coach Spa. Had it for a while, uh, got it used, I think it was about four years old. And about two, three years ago, it started just tripping all the time. So I drained it down, disconnected a couple hoses here and down there, disconnected them and just let it sit. Uh, inside's not too bad right now. This is the first time I opened up in two years, but I think I'm gonna try to troubleshoot it. Um, see if we can get this thing going again. It's getting uh, late fall. So uh, I wanna hit it before we start getting freeze cause I'm gonna run it with just both pumps going, disconnect the heater. Cause I think it's the heater that's a problem. I got a lot of corrosion and I'll show you that in a minute and uh, go through some other troubleshooting on wires and make sure that's uh, not the problem causing this to trip. So uh, let me get the camera turned around, show you some of the components here, show you what I'm looking at, and uh, maybe I can get this fixed, maybe not. It is pretty old, so give me a second and we'll get this turned around and let's dig into it. All right, so this is the inside of the spa. It's got two pumps. That's the secondary pump primary pump both of them are actually this one is a single stage that one is a two-stage pump heaters right there the controls you can see here it is a coast spa not too bad in there for sitting for two years i do see a lot of chipmunks running up underneath the wood up in here so it's time to get some poison in there so before you start touching any of this the first thing you need to do disconnect the electric so i went in i uh pulled the first breaker in the house made sure that's off i've got this disconnected so the first thing i wanted to do was touch each one of those pull them out clean the contacts re-put them back in so i'm going to close this back up here uh, i'd already did that want to make sure we're not powered so when i'm playing in here there is no power so the first thing I've got to do is reconnect that pipe. I have that open so it drains and doesn't freeze. Reconnect that pipe. I have that opened up so it drains and doesn't freeze. And then there's also the drain line on the bottom. I got to reconnect, make sure that is closed up. You can see it is a little bit of a mess in here. Oh, not too bad. Got to clean that up. So I'm going to uh, flush some water in here. Oh, look at that. We got some mold growing there get this cleaned up a little bit before I circulate, pump that out, and then uh, I'll fill it up to the uh, lowest level possible so it doesn't trip. Then uh, fire up those two pumps, see if she runs a couple days and without tripping. If it does, I'll reconnect the heater. Let me show you with the heater here. I'm tempted to pull those contacts and clean that, but it's, well, I don't know what the inside looks like. This baby's 14 years old uh chemicals just do wonders on this these are new pumps i did get them off amazon i would not recommend getting pumps off amazon there was issues with these trying to get them in and to fit so i did replace both of those chemicals ate the uh bearing shaft here it was leaking cleaned it up and i lost maybe 20 percent of the bearing shaft so i decided just to get new pumps so uh let me do a little time lapse of me struggling trying to get that pipe and that pipe connected. All right, I got that pipe right there connected. Ran into another problem. Broke this connection for the uh, bleed there. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. Uh, so that angle was not lined up, so I had to disconnect the pump. You can see I got to redo uh, straps to hold in place. I had to loosen this wire or uh, pipe so I can move it out of the way. Look down into the, the uh, tube, it is a little corroded in there. So, next thing I'm going to do is put this back on. Look at this gasket though, it is dirty. So it's probably going to leak when I put it together. But I think I'm getting a new heating tube. 
So I'm gonna replace this cap, the cap that was here, which is just a two piece there, uh, get new gaskets. So hopefully they work. Didn't have a leak there, but it was leaking here before. And I never had leaks there, so hopefully that's good. And I'm gonna have to figure out, get a three part. Luckily this one I got extra length. So I should be able to move this T anywhere in here to get it close. Uh, I probably am gonna get new tube for this though also and redo the uh, connection on the end. That's To me, that's just too tight. So let me uh, do a little more work here and see. Probably gonna just disconnect that, reconnect this, reconnect these feet, and then see if I have any tube looks like uh, Amazon fittings are coming right up here. This one I do not want to replace because it goes up top underneath all this insulation to a bleed valve, but that's what happens when you got chemical plastic and it gets to be 14 years old, they get brittle. So uh, I may not be filling this today to uh, try and test it out. All right, I got the connection to the heating element off. See back here, there's a post here take the screw off, oops, sorry, sits right in there. Take the post or the screw off the terminal, sits on that, and that goes under there, back like that. So this could be a problem. That one fit just fine back underneath there, went on that terminal, but look what came out of there, out of this hole. Think that could have been some of the problem? Why she kept tripping, that connection right there was bad. Now it's all loose, corroded, pulled apart. Now I definitely need a heater. So let's get uh, a heater on order. I'll get some parts off there. Let's get some hoses, some clamps, some uh, T connectors. We'll get that fixed. I might have to redo the uh, nipple on that. We will see. And I'm going to also get a couple more clamps, couplings, gaskets that go on there, and some more of that uh, magic lube seal, and seal on there. So, got to order some parts, and we will be back probably in a week or so. All right, so I have this one pulled off already. Let me loosen this one up. So you can see how they split apart into just two. They've got little teeth here that fit together. Hold that together. I'm gonna to put both these screws back in so we don't lose them. Look at that, I already lost the other screw. I'll have to dig it out when I find it. I'm hoping the next one, it's got threaded couplers on the end here. I hope it threads right onto this. So you can see this gasket's all rotten. So we are definitely going to be replacing that. But let me get this pulled out first. on the bottom. I believe that was three eighths. Well, that looks too big. And that's too small. There we go. Oh, and these two sensors, I pulled the sensors off from the board here and here. So that's these two sensors. 
All right. It's pretty clean down in the tube. It's just right there that actually broke off. So let me save these nuts here. We'll put this off to the side. We'll save these sensors. Maybe these sensors are working good yet. Oh, there's some corrosion on the end of that one. Let me get this cleaned up in here first. We'll turn you back on. All right, so I got that slightly cleaned off. Most of the corrosion and just flung my nuts all over the place. Got them. Next thing I'm gonna do is try to clean off. Well, this gasket comes out easy. But look at how that's all corroded. This one already ripped. So let me uh, get that cleaned up and we'll turn things back on again. All right, so I got that cleaned up, that cleaned up. Uh, moment of truth, let's dry fit the uh, heating element. Let's see if she fits. And let me get this cut off. These look similar. Question is, you see these ends here. I should be able to take that off. Oh, look at that. It came with a new O-ring. We'll make sure we get that put in. Sorry for the interruption there. Take this side out, save these in case we need them. The other O-ring. Oh, is it gonna work? Is that gonna be long enough? Oh, I don't know gonna be close to try to get these to come together so I might have to uh, loosen this motor move it forward we're just off a of hair but let's get this mounted in it's got the nuts on the bottom the same as the other one so the first thing I did is made sure we had power disconnected at the breaker and at the wall so let's get this set up in here. There we go. Tighten this a little bit for now. We'll loosen that a little bit to make sure we can move those. It fits right in. fits right in so let's uh, probably shouldn't have done that I should have got these gaskets in first so we know she fits I'm gonna pull this back out 
get these gaskets in. Probably gonna loosen this motor up so I can get this to pull a little tighter. I'm just about tight there. I got a little gap over here. Let me get that adjusted. All right, so we noticed we got auto boys here, snap yeah. appearance. Yeah. We got, so this is the old tube and it, it fit, it's the exact same size, but I replaced this motor and I always had a little leak there now that I'm thinking about it. So what we're doing is popping these bolts off on the bottom here. You can see there, scoot it over we're going to scoot inch. it a quarter inch and then we're going to do the same thing with the other motor since it was different. We were working on it, so we're going to pop the bottom and relag it to the floor there. So once we get this over a quarter inch, we'll be able to put the new one in. She should fit tight. We'll make sure our ends are clean, gaskets are lubed up, and uh, we already checked the wire connections, so we should be good then. And always remember, we are not professionals. Do not follow what we do, and always make sure that... Uh, this is not technical advice. This is You're right. This is for entertainment, entertainment purposes yeah. only. All right, so we've got that lagged in. We moved it, so now she's sitting with the pipe in there pretty good. We got the new heater tube in. This was loose enough. We pulled it forward. Got these connections in. You can see that little angle. Let's hope that doesn't cause a problem, but that's on pretty tight with the gasket and some lube on there and some seal lube. These fittings went right in. Next, we've got these. I'm going to clean up the contacts before we put them on. Then we've got just a couple fittings here and then it's time to turn it on and see if she fires. And if she fires, then we're going to fill her up and uh, maybe in eight hours we'll be soaking with a beverage. So we've got this on. Auto Boy did the grunt work. He yeah. lagged those in. He climbed in back there, lagged this motor back down. Yep. He also, uh, we put a new mount here. Remember, we're not professionals, yeah. but this baby's solid now. Ain't we kept this tube the same. Uh, new clamp there, new hose there, near there. You can this see what we got hose. rid of, piece yeah. of junk. So let's get this cover on. I went through, checked a lot of the connections. Um, things are looking good. Let's hope that doesn't leak there. And let's hope I didn't have any water sitting in there for two winters and froze and split back by the manifold because I'm not climbing back in that bad boy. So we'll get the cover on. Let's start filling her up. Actually, I think I'm going to turn it on first see if she starts up so we got the fill going just a touch of chlorine kill all the stuff that's in the pipes that have been sitting for two years we had one leak right at this right there we tighten that up it seems to stop let's hope we don't have any more leaks i'll really use it tonight yeah i say what another hour at least yeah. hour and a half to fill yeah. And then a couple hours to heat. Let's hope she works. All right, Porty's Garage people. Uh, we got it running. Both the pumps are strapped. Uh, they're not moving. This one makes a little bit of noise, but that's the Amazon special. The ozonator uh, broke a little bit, so we got to get a new one of that, but that doesn't affect the hot tub running. Uh, the display here uh, works. It was at 48, now it's at 55. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but some oh, yeah. of the it says 55 Fahrenheit, but that little part, bottom part of both of those is gone. Um, the lights notice, work. Right. The it's heater, the, the heat lights on, pump one's on. Yep. And then pump two works. Look at it going. Here. Father Mike uh, started it up without putting this on, though. And there was water that just gushed over the side of the hot tub. Little user error. Yeah. Like Please. we said, we're we're not uh, professionals. We're semi-professional. Hip, hip pump number two. Let's hear that bad boy. Plastic and all kinds of stuff. Turn it off. I don't know if I'm replacing it or not. Something's grinding in there. It works, but and doesn't leak. It just makes some noise, so it's kind of up in there. So let's hope by eight o'clock tonight I'm sitting in here with a beverage. So here is the best part of doing all that work. We'll get the money shot for the end, and no, it's not going to be me climbing into the hot tub. But I enjoy doing all the work then get to spend some time here. So if you like the content of the video, please like and subscribe to Porty's Garage. Thanks for watching.